Often described as the queen mother of black consciousness, Dr. Frances Cress Welsing offered the world her interpretation on the origins of white supremacy. Born in 1935, she earned her doctorate at Howard University in 1962, specializing in psychiatry, and she joined the faculty as an assistant professor of pediatrics thereafter. It was during this tenure when she published her essay, The Crest Theory of Color Confrontation and Racism in 1974. In that essay, Welsing put forth the idea that racism was a worldly behavior and that white people's status as a global minority fed fears that led to oppression and violence. It is a profound statement analysis of looking at racism as a total system structure that functions in all areas of people activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war for the ultimate purpose of maintaining the power equation of white power over a relative non-white powerlessness. Welsing is perhaps best known for her 1991 book, The ISIS Papers, which reportedly came about after 20 years of research and analysis from her private practice. It is considered required reading for those interested in the psychological origins and manifestations of white supremacy. Racism as white supremacy has been the reality that black people all over this planet have faced for the last 500 years. There's never been a moment, there's never been a minute, there's never been a day, there's never been a week where we have not been confronted with racism, white supremacy as a system. She was a celebrated scholar who studied the origins of white supremacy from a psychological and biological perspective. In calling for strong families and role models in the black community, Welsing wrote, children are the only future of any people. See, that's where little children are brilliant. Little two-year-old people, little three-year-old people, they start saying, why? Why? You know, and older people get annoyed, shut up. But don't ever tell a child. If a child is saying, why, mommy? Why, granny? Why? You may not know the answer. Just tell the child, I don't know the answer but I'll try to find out for you. And if I don't find out and you study and learn, you'll find out. But the question why is what turns on the brain computer. The child is asking about cause and effect. And if you can begin to understand cause and effect, you begin to get a handle on dealing with reality. This is our history. This is black history.